What if I told you there's a way you can escape from the world's problems? You can go to a place where your responsibilities temporarily fade away, the daily grind becomes irrelevant, and the world seems to just disappear. It's a feeling of bliss. Being in the water is unlike anything you'll ever experience in your life. And for the past month, I challenged myself to swim every single day. No matter how tired I felt or what my schedule looked like, I committed to swimming over 100,000 meters in just 30 days. And 30 days later, here I am. I swam over 110,000 meters and I raised thousands of dollars for the Movember Foundation. This is a story of not only how I was able to swim every single day, but why I did this challenge in the first place and the impact it had on my life. About a month ago, I made a video on how I failed this challenge the year prior. I tried to swim over 100,000 meters and I fell short. In that video, I share that failure is something we all experience at some point. It's nothing to be ashamed of, and if anything, it should be embraced. Whether it's missing the wall on a flip turn, or getting disqualified in your best event, or flunking an exam at school, this is something that we all experience, and it's totally normal and actually healthy. Sometimes failure is a reality check to keep us humble and motivated. Other times, failure just sucks. Regardless of how you fail or what you fail in, what's most important is what you do next. Success is not final, failure is not fatal, it's the courage to continue that counts. And with a renewed motivation to hit 100,000 meters, I made a plan. I would swim every single day, no excuses. I needed to average at least 4,000 yards per day. That's about 3.5 kilometers or 2.2 miles every day. Some days I swam twice, changing up my workouts for variety's sake and also to reduce the stress on my body. Rather than swim continuously for 4,000 yards every session, I broke it out. I wrote my workout down in the My Swim Pro app and I loaded the workout onto my watch at the pool before every session. I followed a structured workout routine to stay on track and keep myself accountable to swimming the full distance. I've never appreciated having a coach on my wrist as much as I did during this challenge because some days I really wanted to get out early, but I had my coach pushing me to complete the next set. Swimming every single day was a new experience for me. I normally only swim three or four times per week. I mix in a dryland routine out of the water three or four times per week as well. Even in college, we would only swim six days per week and we'd have a full day off to completely recover. So this challenge was definitely uncharted waters, pun intended. Okay, so you're probably wondering what happens to your body when you swim every single day without taking a single day off? Do you grow gills? Do your arms fall off? Well, no, well, sort of, I guess. While I didn't grow any gills, at least that I know of, I did develop an incredible feel of the water. The more time you spend in the water, the more refined this feel becomes. As soon as you stop swimming, you start to lose this feel of the water. Because I was swimming every single day and I averaged less than 24 hours between every swim session, I felt an incredible connection with the water. And by the end of the month, I was feeling strong. I also experienced tons of health benefits. During these 30 days, my vital lung capacity improved. My average resting heart rate dropped and I also swam faster. My average swimming pace dropped about 10% by the end of the month. I was able to swim faster with less energy just by improving my feel of the water and developing a more robust aerobic capacity. The endorphins were an added bonus too. I always left the pool with a smile on my face. And if you have not experienced the joy of swimming every single day, I highly recommend it. Even if it's just for a week, the beauty of swimming is that you can do it at any age, unlike other sports that are high impact. Swimming every day helped me develop a routine, disconnect from the daily grind, and build my character and mental confidence. But it also helped me make an impact on the world around me. As a part of the challenge, I raised over $1,000 for the Movember Foundation to support those tackling prostate cancer, testicular cancer, mental health challenges, and suicide. My donation link is still active in the link below. If you donate just $1 for every 1,000 meters I swam, that's a $100 donation. 
If you can't donate, no problem. Share this video and follow me on social media for behind the scenes look at my swimming journey and also building my swim pro. And if you're looking to take part in a challenge like this or just wanna get into swimming, well, you've come to the right place. So be sure to check out the My Swim Pro app, subscribe to the channel for personalized training plans, workouts, videos, and everything you need to get started. We also have the largest digital community of swimmers in the world and a private Facebook group, which is 100% free to join. Check it out, linked in the description below. Last year, I failed at swimming 100,000 meters in 30 days. This year, I did it, thanks to your support. Remember, whenever you think you failed, reframe it as an opportunity to learn, grow, and do better next time. Wishing you all the best and happy swimming.